Hey guys, a short video to wish you all a happy new year and uh, to thank you all for the amazing support uh, I got this year uh, on my YouTube channel. Uh, it grew from 1000 subscribers to 5000 plus subscribers and um, especially the comment section uh, really exploded. Um, uh, so many uh, responses from you guys and I really love that uh, a lot of um, different viewpoints also in the comments and I really like that very much um, so thank you so much for that uh, to all the commenters and also all the people that clicked like and also the people that clicked dislike uh, some of my videos have really hit uh, all-time highs and dislikes such as my first video on Bitcoin Cash on the 1st of August when Bitcoin Cash launched uh, I got the most dislikes uh, uh, about 50% on the video was dislikes and uh, my recent video uh, predicting that 2018 will be a bad year for crypto also got um, about 33% uh, of dislikes so uh, that was um, uh, uh, interesting to see uh, most of my videos have a lot of likes like the last video um, where I analyze uh, the chart of Trollolo uh, and I argue much better uh, why I think uh, 2018 will not be a good year usually these kind of videos have like 90 or 95 percent uh, likes and only five percent dislikes so uh, thank you all for that and um, yeah uh, I want to also make a, a small request to please share um, my uh, my videos on your you on your Facebook or on your Twitter um, uh, or if you also have Twitter uh, just uh, subscribe to my tweets and share the tweets I make about my videos I would really appreciate that especially the last video I just made um, from uh, uh, um, with the chart showing uh, how it has been in the past uh, crypto markets and um, and uh, yeah just so that uh, because many people in your own environment are now starting to invest in crypto and I think that's gonna be a painful experience uh, so so uh, I, I think markets will correct very strongly especially uh, a lot of the altcoins that are in the top 20 um, okay yeah, they've done a great job but uh, but these are uh, projects that will very likely correct 90% in fiat value before they continue to go up uh, in the next bull cycle. Eh? I also want to give a little bit more information just on my general view because I, I do believe strongly that the uh, cryptocurrency market will go to much higher valuations. That's a sure thing. Um, the, uh, often people in the comments section say that the dot-com bubble went to 6 trillion and we're not even at 1 trillion for the crypto market. So yes, um, uh, it's not highly valued from that perspective and that's very true. Um, but um, I think it's very important to um, uh, see how the crypto market has grown in the past. Uh, if, uh, for the dot-com bubble it went basically up in one straight line from early 90s to the year 2000 so almost 10 years in a row it went up in one straight line um, but that was in the 90s and it was a different environment basically the market was not liquid uh, and and so uh, companies would only go to the to the stock market after um, uh, a while uh, and so small investors um, could not participate um, in the early stages of these companies uh, and so they only went to the stock market um, after they already reached a high valuation uh, and of course then they continue to go up um, and, and, and but, but the crypto market has shown us for the past almost 10 years now, eh? uh, 9 years of crypto market since Bitcoin uh, launched, that it is extremely volatile and this is because there is just much more liquid and small investors are participating from the start and they are just more emotional investors, eh? they have less experience and so and they actually dictate market prices because they have a lot more capital than large investors combined and so 
um, uh, that's why uh, the crypto market is much more volatile and uh, we've seen that it goes up in uh, 100x basically in one to two years and then it corrects minus 90% minus 80% but that means it's still times 10 after the bubble collapsed it still went up times 10 or times 20 yeah? and that's the new low and then it goes up again times 100 yeah? that's been the, the the pattern in the past and as an investor it's very wise to just give that the highest probability to repeat in the future that doesn't mean that it's a certain thing it's indeed possible that this pattern is broken and we go from the current market cap of 600 billion um, uh, we go not to 800 billion or 1 trillion and then we correct for 90 percent that's what i'm predicting that's what i think is the highest probable scenario but it's certainly possible this is not going to happen and we go straight to 10 billion over in 2018 that's true and what will happen with my portfolio then? Well, I will also enjoy these profits because even though I will go to a, my, a majority fiat exposure, I will still have a minority uh, crypto exposure and that will enjoy the ride from one to 10 billion, if the, a trillion. If that's what's gonna happen, uh, then I will also, with a small part of my capital, enjoy that ride. Um, but, but as an investor, it's a good idea to embed the most, the big, I, the biggest part of your portfolio on the biggest probability. It's in the long run much more profitable, and so that's why I uh, well, um, share these viewpoints, and wh that's why I invest this way. Uh, there was something else I wanted to say. Um, um, what did I want to say? I forgot it. This is a beautiful Tokyo. Uh, very, very beautiful. Uh, it's the 1st of January. Um, so it was very interesting to see the new year here. Um, let me think. It was very important, but I already had a little strawberry cocktail. <laughs> um, a lot of commenters uh, are saying that, oh yes, uh, some people, they respond very negatively to my videos and saying that I only value fiat profits and, uh, and that I well, don't really care about crypto uh, because I'm selling. I, I don't think this is uh, true, uh, actually, uh, I am fully uh, for crypto and it, for it to conquer. Uh, the world and uh, to live on crypto and only on crypto and I really admire people like Roger Ver who do not uh, sell, try to sell crypto on the highs and so they remain investing crypto fully and uh, and, and they um, well you know they just spend crypto and uh, and, and and so their capital is uh, their wealth uh, is, is volatile eh? Over the long run, it goes up a lot, but sometimes it goes up a lot, then down considerably, and then the, up a lot. Like these kind of investors, I admire. Um, um, but yeah, it's just a, a different kind of investor, and if this fits you better, uh, you should certainly do that. Um, I'm just a different kind of investor, and, and um, you have to follow uh, the, the strategy you feel most comfortable with. Uh, I'm not saying that's my strategy, not at all, um, uh, no, uh, uh, but uh, I, I can tell you that my strategy uh, has, um, has certainly kept up with uh, the crypto gains. Uh, I think um, even though I was never fully invested in crypto, um, always, well only 80% uh, two years back, but it's been going down and with, let's say on average it's been like 60% or so my returns are um, well uh, comparable to the returns of uh, being 100% invested in cryptocurrency yeah? so uh, and the way I did that is by using just probabilities and um, I think if you look at the risk I've taken it's considerably lower than most investors while my returns are uh, comparable to just the buy and hold strategy and I also think that um, uh, there is a very important function uh, you can perform in this market 
because this extreme volatility is not good um, and um, it's not good uh, for just the general market um, people pumping up the price too high um, is not good uh, for the assets it's not good for uh, investors um, and um, if you uh, go against that trend and you're so you successfully sell on a high uh, basically you are lowering the price on when it's on a high and so basically you are dampening and lowering the volatility uh, and that way uh, bringing volatility down and making it a more stable asset and the same uh, in the inverse when prices go down a lot and you are the one able to buy because you also sold on a high uh, that means you uh, you don't let prices go too low because you are pushing up prices and that way again are lowering volatility of this asset and if you do this successfully you are greatly rewarded for that and it's a very important function so I really well people are free to bash me in the comments uh, of course not um, uh, if it's too much name calling I, I do remove comments but uh, mostly I leave these comments there for others to see and uh, well, you can bash me all, all you want but um, uh, I really believe it's a very important uh, well uh, function even though you're not uh, constantly invested in crypto by selling to fiat on these rare huge bubbles mm, and buying back on these rare deep bear markets uh, that have happen every few years in crypto um, you are uh, doing a great function to society and also uh, can make a lot a lot more gains uh, especially not not per se a lot more gains actually to a simple buy and hold strategy but a lot more gains compared to the risk you are taking and this is very important i wish you all a great 2018 thanks you so much for the support and um, um i hope uh, you and your loved ones um, have a, a prosperous year ahead <laughs>